Finding trending products to create is one of the main ways you are able to skyrocket your sales on Etsy, but you also have to make sure that those products are actually low in competition and high in search volume. And if you're just using the Etsy search bar, it's not going to give you enough searches for you to determine what people are actually looking for. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you an easy way to find hundreds of different niches that can help you start getting sales on Etsy. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main tool that we're going to use today to help us do our product research is Sell Samurai. Now, Sell Samurai is a great SEO tool if you are trying to find keywords to drive your Etsy sales. They give you tons of data in regards to what are the major keywords people are using on their title and their tags. And they provide additional information regarding the search volume and the love of competition so you know exactly the keywords you need to add to your titles and your tags now sales samurai was so kind to give my audience a discount code for you to try this out on your own i'll make sure i leave all the details in my description box below for you to learn more about sales samurai so let's jump into my computer i'll share with you how easy it is to find these micro niches you can start creating products for so as we jump into Etsy, one of the main things I use Sell Samurai for is their Google extension. This provides us two helpful tips. Number one, learning the search volume, but also finding additional terms we can target to find micro niches. So with that being said, we can start in the Etsy search bar and I can search up a term like teacher shirt here. You can see the numbers on the side, which is exactly what Sell Samurai is giving me to help me determine the level of search volume a specific niche has. Now, obviously this term is extremely broad as we're just searching up teacher shirts we can see this even with the competition being almost a million search results but i like to search broad because this gives me further information in regards to what are the micro niches that fall under this term now etsy automatically populates the search bar for me to determine what type of things are related to the search phrase i typed in and they're letting me know what people are typing in themselves to look up certain products but if you see here etsy only gives us a few search phrases to target ourselves However, Sell Samurai gives us 500 additional search phrases that we can actually find some micro niches we can target and actually create products for to earn some sales. Now, having these numbers on the side is extremely helpful for us because Etsy is a search based platform. That means people are going to type things in based upon what they want to purchase. However, if you notice, Etsy only gives us a few search phrases and we could be missing out on ton of sale potential because we only see a few search phrases people are typing in. However, if I move over to the right hand side and click the more button here, you can see that there are 500 possible search phrases and possible niches we can create for regarding our main topic, teacher shirts. So as you can see, Sell Samurai has provided for us 500 additional keywords we can target and these keywords might even be possible niches we can create products for now we can go down this entire list and pluck out specific keywords to target and learn more from the listings to see what are the sale history for major products but one of the things i like to look at is the right hand side here because i want to look at search volume and competition obviously i want my search volume to be relatively high but i want my competition to be low so it can be easier for me to rank on etsy regarding these specific products now i can actually filter this entire search volume based upon the top portion here as this will let me determine what type of search volume i want to see as well as the level of competition by just plugging some things in so from here i like to keep my search volume as high as possible and i don't want to go below a certain number so i want to put here 50 because i don't want my search volume to go below that specific number here but when it goes over to competition i don't want my competition number to go above a certain number now i like to set the number to be 10,000, but to be very clear you can outrank a lot of people based upon the design you create, how you communicate your value in your product photos, and of course, having a launch strategy and a sales strategy. But in today's video, I'll just set the top competition to be 10,000. And if I want to focus on a specific word like shirt, because I'm selling in that category, I can plug that in here. But in today's video, I'll just leave everything as it is. Now, if everything is in place, what Sell Samurai would do here is that it will 
only showed me things related to the filter I set for the search volume and the level of competition and everything as a result will show me possible niches and keywords I can target to find if there is a sale history where I can start making products as well and gain some sales on those listings. Now, if you notice here with our filter set in place, our number went down to 76 potential keywords and niches and this is exactly what we want to do because again when we are able to narrow down the search volume and competition to be within the filter that we set now we can go in a little bit further here and see all the keywords that we can possibly create t-shirts for within the teacher niche but this same thing could be done for people professions occasions and seasons hobbies and pets just to see what type of opportunities we have to create products now, again, one of the things that's helpful regarding this list is that everything is meeting our criteria and we can set the search volume to be high so we can know exactly which ones has the most search volume simply by clicking on search volume here and it'll show us the highest search volume all the way down to the lowest. And we know everything on our list is not going above our level of competition here, which is 10,000. So this is a great place for us to at least start and see what is the sales history regarding these micro niches. All right. So from our list, there's a couple of niches or keywords I see that I think is a great place for us to start. I see this daycare teacher shirt niche could be a huge opportunity for us to find some products for. We don't the search volume is high and the competition is within that 10,000 rank we put in place here and we see the same type of results here again only 8,000 or so search results coming up and from here we definitely want to identify some top trending products here's one product that we found to work extremely well here is the best selling product it is in demand two people bought this in the last 24 hours and again we know this fits into our niche of the daycare teacher niche because we see this specific phrase here that is specifically tied to our niche again this is even tied to a preschool shirt and we see this specific audience that we want to target daycare provider in the specific title this is the process you'll do to find these micro niches and you'll learn from the listing to see what are these listings doing well what keywords are they using in their titles and tags so further explain this micro niche we have found and what can you do different to add in some more value to these products here when i see products like this that really don't have a lot of color on it or no really true text design i like to add in the popular retro style design here add in some color with our hearts and add in some personalization as that is always a great way to stand out regarding these type of products now we can go down a little bit further and see some additional keywords we can target here and one of the shirts that stood out to me was pe teacher shirts we see this is getting about a thousand searches per month and again the competition is about four thousand i like to open this up again in etsy just to confirm these numbers here and again we have four thousand here and as i went through this list of pe teacher shirts i found this shirt to be actually a top trend again we see this is in demand two people bought this in the last 24 hours and if you look at the keyword in the design itself it's all matching this particular niche that we're creating for now again these things are helpful because when we look into the etsy search bar and put in teacher shirts we didn't see these micro niches of daycare teacher shirt or daycare provider shirt we didn't see the micro niche of pe teacher shirts but this is the benefit of using sales samurai where you're able to see these little micro niches that may not even be visible in the se search bar when you're searching up very broad but obviously these key phrases are exactly what people are typing in because we see the level of demand for this t-shirt here so again this fits our entire niche and we have pe teacher shirt coach shirt these things are all related to our search phrase again we have coach funny shirt we have funny gym teacher shirt and all these things are perfect in regards to what this product is and one of the things i like to look at is the title to make sure it's matching up with the design itself and it is we see at the bottom here pe teacher life so again the pe teacher niche is a great place for you to explore further to see if there is more sale potential in the next one i want to just share with you as an example because there's a lot here that we can look into is this last one here ot teacher shirts or occupational therapist teacher shirts now this can be a wide range of different audiences we lean towards but this specific shirt here regarding teacher it searched up 436 times per month and the competition is less than 3000 as we open this up we see a lot of different t-shirts we can explore and create for again when we're talking about the occupational therapist shirt sometimes you have these little phrases here that could be great for you to add into your product but you definitely want to specifically target a teacher as that is exactly what people are typing in here and i think all these things will fit well with our overall niche and when we look at this listing here this listing is a best-selling product 
has 20 plus people in the cart. It's focusing on our specific audience, occupational therapists, and we can add in a little bit further detail here regarding a teacher's name, just to add in that personalization here. We know this shirt also is doing well, bestsellers badge. It does follow our main theme and our main audience here, occupational therapists. And again, when we craft this to focus on a specific teacher, we're able to bring in some top trend designs over into the teacher niche. So there is a lot of opportunities for you to create products and actually see what things are being typed in and if you want to even see further niches you can actually increase this level of competition here to twenty thousand. and again obviously we do want to keep the competition low but you are able to really compete with other people once you identify the top trends things to add into your design to add in more value like personalization work on your mock-ups communicating value in your main photo with text on screen and offering in that huge sales opportunity by running daily sales even beating people though the competition is up to 20,000 people and as you see here as we increase our love of competition we have some new phrases here where our number increased to 92 again 92 possible niches and opportunities we can create multiple designs for like fifth grade teacher shirt fourth grade teacher shirts second grade teacher shirts that could be extremely beneficial to us as we are creating multiple products in this niche so as you can see finding these micro niches is really easy to do once you're able to utilize sales samurai to find hundreds of different keywords to target now if you want to try out sales samurai on your own make sure i leave details down in my description box below for you to test this out and to see if it is best for your on-demand business now if you want to learn the next step of how to actually create a top trending product then click this next video here and if you like content like this then subscribe to my channel here as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video